Okay. 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 Hello, hey, Alex. Alex. <laughs> Isn't he the one who's going to be watching? I, guess, yeah. I thought he just joined randomly. <laughs> How did he get the code? Okay. Um, hello, Isabella. Hello, Maya. How are you? I'm doing okay. That's I'm doing good. okay. That's yeah, so my first question for you, I guess I know that Shakespeare... A lot of times people think of it as like this something that can be a really strong foundation for young actors even if they're hoping to go into film or tv so what do you think about that do you think it's kind of you know not important if you're not doing shakespearean roles or do you think it's you know helpful even beyond the scope of that um yes. well i mean i've always loved shakespeare i've always found it really interesting and i just i love acting Shakespeare I just I love the language and everything and I think that you know I've heard some of our teachers say like if you can do Shakespeare you can do anything and you know I I kind of agree with that just because Shakespeare is such an influential figure you know in the theatrical canon and you know and culturally as well and I think that if you can understand the language of Shakespeare and you can do Shakespeare and at least if you have an appreciation for Shakespeare and the influence that he you know had on on theater and on poetry and on you know the world because everyone performs Shakespeare all over I think that it will help you you know as an actor with language and with pacing and with making strong choices because you know there's not that many stage directions in Shakespeare and direction so I think it, it's a good exercise for actors to know you know be bold in their own work and make their own idea of a character and what do you what do you think do you do you like Great. Shakespeare? I I've always liked like Shakespeare I haven't yeah uh, I did I've done a little bit but at OSHA I haven't really done that much um besides the classes that we take but I mean I know that whenever I see even actors on the big screen like different ones and, and they've had training in Shakespeare there's just something a little different maybe it's kind of the way that they they just have more of a confidence and I think it does have to do with the language so yeah I've noticed a little bit kind of a difference so I was just wondering your thoughts um second question um did you always I mean have you always known that you wanted to act in high school I mean I know some people always acted ever since they were a kid and some people you know took it up like recently before they applied to OSHA but have you always thought that you were going to pursue acting or you know be an actor and and how do you think choosing acting and you know going to OSHA has like affected your perspective and what you think about yourself and life I guess sort of yes um yeah, so I guess we kind of before coming to OSHA, I came in as a freshman. Um, so I'd always done theater. I um, Since I was pretty young, I started out kind of dancing and then I decided that what I really loved was kind of acting and um, I did a few musicals and then, you know, got more into kind of plays and, and theater. Um, I think kind of my choice to go to OSHA was just that I wanted kind of that, you know, broader experience that I think it's in terms of you can have your academics but you can also have time to pursue you know what you love to do artistically um and I think there's just so much to acting even if you're not going to go on to say be you know uh on Broadway or in you know a TV show I think acting can be so applicable to kind of any field you do because it is kind of about you know human connection and um you know, taking risks and, and just being more comfortable. And I think, you know, a lot of the challenges that I've tried to overcome as a young actor has been becoming more comfortable in my own skin. And I think, you know, you can tell the difference between an actor who is comfortable and, and one who isn't. And I think um, that's important for life too. So uh, I think that as I've started to kind of create my own art and, um, kind of identified why it's important for me or, or what I see its purposes in my life or in the larger world. Um, it's kind of more solidified uh, kind of my love for the arts and how I want to continue pursuing them and how maybe it doesn't have to be 
you know, two separate things. Like I can, I can do this, but I can also do that. And they don't have to be so separate as maybe I thought they did when I, when I kind of went into high school. Yeah. yeah. I've, you know, I've had, you know, sort of a similar experience. Um, I mean, you know, I, when I grew up, I, I wanted to be a basketball player because I played basketball for so long. I had no idea. Really? Yeah, I played basketball for like 10 what? years on the boys league. It was fun. How did I not know this? I don't know. Wow. I don't know. I, I quit, like, right before you came. Like, I played in 7th mm. and 8th, but then yeah. I quit. I didn't because I, I was in fly, so I could no longer go to practice oh, right. to do rehearsals. But um, I always went through high school thinking, you know, I'm either going to be an actor or I'm either going to be something else. And, you know, over the years and recently, I've kind of discovered that, you know, even if I don't want to necessarily become and go and go to theater school and right. stay in LA and audition. And, you know, I think that acting has, will always be a part of my life. And I, I strive to, you know, connect what I know about acting with what I want to do in the future or, you know, just every day. And I think it, it is something that you can always, like you said, like it pertains to human connection and, you know, human experience in such a way that I think maybe unlike any other art form does and so yeah I agree it does yeah definitely I think so too um it is kind of more about life than you realize um so I guess Maya um kind of I guess going more into like the acting realm I've seen you do a lot of different things at OSHA um flies and then I'm sad I didn't get to see you be Juliet that's too bad but maybe there's some um, what do you, what is your, I guess, just generally, you know, your process look like kind of when you first get it? Well, I know that's something that everyone does a little bit differently. And um, I think it changes as you get older and as you learn new things. But I guess, you know, what, what kind of has changed with your process as you've gone through high school or, or has it stayed the same? Oh, it's definitely changed. I mean, I guess if my process, you know, before I, when developing a character, I, I always thought like, okay, to get into character and to get to know my character, I'm going to sit in a room and I'm going to think about my character and like what my character likes and how they walk and, you know, that kind of thing. And I just, I think over the years, my process has changed in that it, um, it's become a lot more physical. And, you know, when I went to London um, last year with the conservatory, we had this really cool workshop with, um, I forgot, I don't know her name, but this woman at one of the schools that we went to and toured and had a workshop and she talked a lot about like the physicality of acting. And ever since doing Wolves, um, that also has reinforced in my mind the importance of physicality and the physical nature of acting. And so I think what's happened over the years is that my process has become a lot more physical and I've, um, I've used physical, you know, gestures and you know, moving around a lot and trying to help that make or get that to help me make choices. I think that has helped my process in discovering my character and discovering how I might understand my character better and get into my character and um, make my character more interesting. So I think that as I've grown, I've understood the importance of physicality and the importance of being bold physically and not, you know, just standing up on stage or standing backstage, you know, trying to like get into character and, and be my character. So I guess that's sort of how my process has changed. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I definitely agree. Kind of, I think when I came in ninth grade and, or even before that, you know, before OSHA, it was very kind of intellectual yeah. kind of how I would approach a character. Sense. Yeah. And I think that's a lot of kind of the same for a lot of people. They think about it like, okay, I'm going to write up this backstory and then I'm going to think about it here and I'm going to, you know, think from this line to this line, this is what's, ha this is how it's changing. And I think, you know, for some things, you know, it's not such a bad idea. And, and especially starting out, you know, when you don't have all these other, you don't realize that there's so many other ways. Um, it was definitely something that I did, but I agree that kind of as I got older or, or uh, kind of just got, you know, more exposed to different things, I think the physical became more important. And that's something so weird because you talk about acting from the inside out or the outside in. And I think it's, you know, obviously it's more nuanced than that. And there's, um, 
it's, there's so many different things that you can do all at once. Um, but I think the physical can be so important. And um, that's something that I definitely want to keep working on. And I think, you know, as I was talking about earlier, being comfortable, I think that physicality is something that is really clear when someone's super comfortable, they have, normally have great um, presence with, within their bodies, and they're just more there and grounded, which I think is always really interesting to watch. Okay, I have a question for you now. Um, so for those of us who have not heard or do not know, why don't you talk a little bit about your project that you have been working on and um, how that your project has changed your perspective on acting and both as an actor and, and as a theater goer and, and how it's made you think about what acting can do. Yeah, so um, I think what's been really interesting is kind of, I guess it's been all over a year now since I started this process um, of kind of exploring theater as more than just kind of a performance art, but also as a, a vehicle for social change and, and um, community strengthening. And it's been a really, really interesting journey because, uh, you know, I guess I'd always thought of theater as, you know, something you go and see, and maybe there's a little bit of distance. Uh, if you can be in it, but that means you're an actor. And, and there's just like very strict, you know, lines between audience and um, and viewer. But I think really super powerful art um, and the art that resonates with me the most is kind of where you get the audience involved or where you, where you have something to say. And I think that's always super interesting. And um, I guess kind of this native storytelling project, just to give some background, was kind of definitely born out of this lack of, you know, indigenous representation in the arts, uh, particularly for, you know, women and girls. There's hardly mine that are um, written for us, for our stories. And I think that's something that's so key um, beyond just the entertainment industry. But I guess kind of what I did was kind of writing my own work was something that that was the first time I'd ever done something like that, writing a play. Um, and I think being an actor or, or having some background in that was so helpful because uh, it, it's all so connected. You know, what would I want to say? What stories do I want to tell? Definitely informed the writing process. And then it was all a, it was a cast of about 20 members and it was all community based, which I think was kind of the beauty of it, right? It's all non-professional actors, um, huge age ranges. We had like a six-year-old and a nine-year-old at one point and so it's it's spanning uh, intergenerational which is super cool um but it was kind of telling this story uh that the social justice issue was missing and murdered indigenous women and girls and with that issue the big challenge and hurdle that people are trying to overcome right now is visibility um and ignorance of it and so i think it was very timely, uh, kind of in the political climate um, and everything that was going through uh, and laws regarding that, just to kind of bring awareness to it because it is such an undershadowed issue. And I think it really does draw kind of some of the best sides of humanity when you can get connected on that level of theater. And I, so I think it's, it's great when I see other people creating their own things. And I think that's so interesting um, as well. So, so yeah, I know that, um, Obviously, you're very artistic and you, you do a lot of acting, but I guess I wonder, do you do, like, is there anything else? Do you, do you write or do you, um, kind of, what do you do to keep yourself busy artistically? And even, like, in this quarantine, I guess, uh, what's something that's been surprising? I used to write a lot of stories as a kid. Um, when I was younger, when I was at my French school and elementary school, we always used to do, like, mod podging or, like, collaging. And you know, where you, like, cut stuff from magazines. Right, right. um, so I've been doing that a lot. I've been making, like, little boxes, um, and it's not necessarily totally art. I mean, I guess it's artistic, but it's it's been, because I've been really missing, you know, acting, and I've gone to yeah. do a little bit for um, filming um, Romeo and Juliet, the movie. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Is that going to be, um, like, is that a subsecret? surprise or I mean I don't think it's I mean um it's going to be out we are not done filming I think it's a season finale for acting I think I don't I think so I'm not completely sure but yeah it'll mm -hmm. be available to watch but I've been doing that so I've been I think what the quarantine has made me realize is how much um acting means to me and how much I I you know sort of rely on it for 
you know, expression and a creative outlet, but, you know, it's, it's nice to have something else, at least it's not acting, but, you know, it's something creative, I guess, that, you know, I get to do when I'm mm -hmm. bored or, you know, have you found anything yeah. other than acting? This yeah, because I guess it is like, uh, it was just stopped, you know, because I agree, like, it was like a really quick stop, and then it was like, okay, we don't do that anymore, and um, I guess it just made me realize, you know, how much how important that was to me or or even how much I guess I did enjoy it mm -hmm. it made me realize you know how valuable that time was and and it, that it was kind of you know something that's really unique and um also made me realize that when I go on to college you know that's something that I want to keep alive and part of um however I can what's actually been nice though is uh there's just so much more time to just do things um and I've learned how to like do these self tapes which is like it's a whole other thing um I don't like to do it but it's super important and uh writing actually um I was asked to, I've been asked to write um more things which is super exciting and, and weird because I'm kind of teaching myself but I want to take some online classes and there's just so many more things available now since everything's online yeah yeah definitely I, I guess tying into the quarantine um how do you think that this quarantine has affected you and and how do you think it's going to affect you know, our class, because I mean, I've been thinking about a lot, you know, we don't have a graduation, we don't have a prom, we don't have a, uh, I mean, I don't even know, so many things. So how do you think this is going to affect, you know, with the class of 2020? Yeah, it's such a unique thing, right? Like, nothing like this has ever happened to a graduating class. Um, since what was it, like the Spanish flu, I think they're comparing it to, but I don't know if they had traditional high schools back then they yeah. probably graduated anyway I mean so it's like it's very weird and uh unique and it's sad I feel like a lot of people are mourning kind of you know what was lost and obviously there it's just such a crazy huge change in so many people's lives and I mean not getting to graduate is going to be you know too bad and uh because it is such a rite of passage I feel like your yeah. high school graduation um, and however we try to do it virtually, it's just going to be different and probably not the same. And I, I think hopefully people are going to try to just, uh, you know, mourn it and be sad, but, um, kind of think for the future and kind of take this time to reassess because there's probably not going to be another time in our lives, uh, unless things change drastically where we have so much free time because we're all going off into a very different part of our lives, kind of going on to adulthood, and it's going to be really, really busy, probably for the next uh, few decades or so, so it's probably <laughs> kind of going to be a nice thing to uh, have this time with, yeah. but yeah, I don't know, what do you, what do you think, because you're in the same, yeah. I mean, I, it's definitely given me <laughs> a lesson in control, and you know, how much do you really have in control, and, and you know, taking right. For granted and I think our class will leave with a, a appreciation of you know everyday life everyday things and the class of 2020 will be remembered the class <laughs> lost it all but you know gained a lot of wisdom yeah I think so too I think it's gonna be something that is kind of always remembered and I mean hopefully 2021 gets to graduate but yeah, we'll see <laughs> yeah Okay, so Maya, what do you dream of for yourself? I don't know. <laughs> Loaded question. I know. <laughs> uh, a lot to ask an 18 year old. I know. I mean, I think, well, I guess I'll start with like career wise. I don't know. But um, okay. I'm hoping, you know, I've, I've, I'm hoping in my next chapter to, to like, pursue a career in um medicine and something medicine related um I don't know do you are you the that's same? so funny that's the same that's yeah, the yeah. same yeah, I remember me. back I in, had no idea back yeah, in I remember. Was, yeah 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 I remember but I thought you might have changed I mean it's in four years yeah but that was like that was the class mm -hmm. that AP bio that kind of like changed my life I guess sort of you wow. know me too um, yeah we're so similar. That's crazy. But, oh um, my god. <laughs> yeah, I guess medicine, but you know, I guess more personally, um, 
tying back to what I was saying before, um, I hope that in my life, I will be able to keep a connection to not only, you know, an intellectual way of life, but also an artistic and, and to, to keep my appreciation for acting, you know, through my life and to be, you know, grateful for all the experiences I've had, you know, at OSHA and, you know, this whole six year journey for me at OSHA and, you know, keep that with me in my college career and, and beyond. And so I guess I dream of my dream that I will be able to do all of that and keep it all there. That is not a good answer, but I'm, I don't no, know. No, it, it is. That wrong. makes a lot of sense. And it's like the same as my answer. Um, I totally, it's so funny, but yeah, medicine is uh, kind of what I've always thought about. And, and obviously I think this idea of healing is so abstract. And I think what's so exciting is kind of right now, people are really pushing the boundaries of what healing means and, and what it can in, include. And so I think that, you know, art has a place in that as much as, you know, science has a place in that. And they're so much more connected than I think so many people realize. Yeah. And so I guess for what I dream of for myself is um, to kind of help provide that. Um, so it's not totally clear, you know, what the future is, but I think that's exciting. And um, I can't believe we're already here. I know. It's time has really flown by. I know. Crazy. Um, crazy. Yeah. So I think that was our 25 minutes. Yes. Well, that is all. Oh.